Okay, time for some Vampire Survivors. We'll be heading back to Operation Guns, and we'll be doing it without Curse, because, well, I don't think it's actually possible without Extreme Luck to do this. Just what happens is too much. Those long strider-like things, they just have a combination of durability and sheer size that, short of ridiculous luck, probably not going to be able to do this sometime this century. Like I took a wake, too. It's going to go out to your Jisoo, but messed it up. Oh, right. I also wanted to test something. Well, either way. I don't think even getting that TRG suit would have counted because I was only at 18 minutes with two more rides and maybe three if I had checked out something. Could have been pulled off by not really. Maybe with some extreme, extreme luck with random events and such, it could have been done, but I would not count on it. So, da, da, da. And there's also something I want to check, is if the evolved weapons count as a contra gun for the purpose of the weapon pickup showing back up. With three more revives, I still don't think I would have made it. But it is something I want to check. Obviously, I could just ask in the Discord, but it's kind of a boring option, you know? Alright. Good thing about this is that I don't have to worry about accidentally waking out the boss. I can just... Keep going. Man, without curse, they do not spawn in that much, huh? Strangely, I'm gonna have more levels with the long gun than I did last time this boss showed up. Not just because I'm specially trying to avoid it. Spinach! Alright, get a reroll for long gun. Okay. Now I can break you apart and get my prototype. 30 minute evolution. Alright. See if the weapon pickup pops back up. If it does, it does great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Da -da. Oh, well, not like I needed that. In fact, it's better to hold it out for now. Just because... I could grab it later for an Armadillo chance. After I grab more stuff. Without Curse, they do not come in remotely as hard, even with Charm Max. Incredible. Kinda. Very important to get this one, because then I bounce things. Awake can easily wait for later, I just need to make sure about it. Three bounces and might pass through bullets. Incidentally, what I notice is that when they do bounce, the bullets don't actually reflect mirror. They just fire back in the same position that they fire from. Oh, right. I can go backwards. Destroy them at least that way. Spellbinder does nothing. I mean, I shouldn't. Starburst. No, I'll waste all the skips first. I shouldn't have banished that, just in case it random evented, because it would increase the length of an NFT or an Aura Logan. Oh, boss. Yeah, cool down. 
I mean, I don't have tier G suit or tolerance box yet, so it's still possible it might drop. Well, I don't want Skull Maniac at all, so I can banish that one. For sure. Miss. Yeah. I'm thinking it's not gonna show up. Yeah, it looks like it's only for unevolved ones. Banish the to the abyss. Then tier G suit. Just to be on the safe side. Because I know this gets dicey. Make sure I get what I need. As much damage as I can. Even with the charm or the curse turned off, this could be a dicey one. Other stages should be fine, but this one, that wave is so crazy. It's not as bad as the Gyorun or the Tri Blunder wave, but still. Oh man, that's gonna be another one to watch out for. I mean, I got through it with Curse eventually, but still. That was some difficult vampire survivor in right there. On the other hand, they're so frail, they're going down no trouble. Well, I mean, they were super frail until I got to the end waves. 15 minutes on, it just goes crazy. No one else really had trouble to stalker, of course. I I can't avoid you. You're not fast enough to avoid you, huh? Well, I did have to turn it off for the Pino, because well, stalker showed up. There wasn't anything I could have done. I then fail. I've done enough failing. Like, inexplicably, the Gyorutin video. I have absolutely no idea why it didn't get put correctly. Maybe I whined about the algorithm too much or something. But YouTube's gonna YouTube. Well, at the very least, the prototypes are always gonna be hitting Stalker that has HP, or whatever causes them to go away. Another Armadillo gone. Chance at Armadillo gone. What the heck? What's this? This is a random event or something? This did not happen before. I think I know. Yeah, this is weird. This did not happen before. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna have to spin circle to create some safety. This is very strange. Oh good. It's up top. Wow, that did not last any time at all. Probably because more president NFT, dang it. Okay, I gotta rush for the Arcana. I mean, I'll have enough time for like a loop or two before they big up, but I need to wake ASAP, just in case something happens. Okay, it's already looping. I right, from all it does make me feel weaker, huh? Weird. Might, might, might. I'm out, I'm out. Strangely, I had an absolute ton of pierce. I think I actually had the pierce cap before. Maybe my high area affected it more. No, oh, I just want all raw front damage. I can create a safety zone. Oops. Yeah, these mecha things also managed to get a decent hit in. Better than walking tanks. 
Yeah, but they're going down way easier now. Well, just even that little bit of curse completely changes the paradigm of this. Okay, slow down. Don't. There we go. And right from the start, goody. See near the top, that's where all the stuff spawns in. Or, well, not where it spawns in. Man, just 50 curse completely changes it. It's crazy. Well, I'm sort of beyond frustration at this point. So, eh. the important thing is getting it with inverse and hurry. Well, the important thing is beating it by any means possible. Oh man, third wave. That's gonna be dicey. Especially for characters with bad evolution or evolutions that are kind of not helpful. Wait, what am I doing? Do spread shot him. Alright. After this we'll be on to the mad forest. Yeah, this wave was a lot deadlier. Man, that's crazy. I know it always affected it, but boy. You see the effect in such action. Oops. I'll just go random on ways now. This one's gonna be a bit obnoxious as it is. Dun, dun, dun. No, can't armor you. I wasn't even able to destroy the mecha boss here. Just because of what was happening. But I hope to rectify that now. Or not. Wow, it's so durable. Okay, 17 minutes is the triple thing of my jigs. The walkers that get really annoying. Yeah, this holy crap. They were covering the screen instantly. I did not get this. It's crazy. They Man. The difference is insane. Yep, no trouble with this one. Should be clear and easy to the end. This is probably the hardest part. Well, except when it spawns in with all this. Well, well, yeah, there was no way I'm going to max it out if this happened. I can't avoid the gems at all, can't I? Oh, man, I, I might still lose. I mean, sure, this is bad luck because of the gems causing issues, but still. I should go backwards. Hey, chickens. A lot of chickens, hopefully. Okay, I got two more revives, and I got a minute. Oh. Man, that lucky event random with the chickens that saved me. That saved this run entirely. Whoa. Of course, it was almost doomed because of the random event with the explosions. Do so much on screen. It's basically impossible to tell what was going on. Man, she's vampire survivors in a nutshell. Nutshell. That should totally be a thing. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Death. You have saved my life. Vermilion Heart of Fire sort of falls off on the end. In fact, it fell off terribly. I mean, it's got the tracking fight, it's got to be wrong. There was no way it wasn't doing more damage than that. Like, I refuse to believe after being with it the entire time it did less than Long Gun, which was there for no time at all. Okay, and just to make sure it's on camera, curse back on.
Okay, I presume the Atlanteans get on in on me. Yeah, there they are. Jerks. Also, I sneeze, and you can totally hear it in my voice, because my sneezes are incredibly violent. No joke, it's probably what's going to kill me one day. Yay, a golden egg. No, of course. So little floating boxes don't spawn in. You just find the pickups with the regular light sources. So I'm not sure if Heart of Fire Explosion extends out to every pierce or if it's just the first time it hits something. It really does feel like it's only the first hit, because otherwise I should have a full screen full of shots and things like this. Also, once again, I presume the Heart of Fire on the end screen is only for counterattack damage. Doesn't feel right, considering what's going on on screen for it only to get like 100 DPS. Yep, focus on that Atlantean. Yeah, if I just go in one direction and wave it out to get a bit of clearance, it should be good. More exploring candle over doors. Candlestick holders. Huh. Oh wow, that was lucky. So that's to be expected with Clover. Yeah, I haven't gone random always, I just got new stuff to level up first. Uh -huh. Uh oh. Starburst, really? Okay, yeah, this one should be in the bag as long as I. Oh. Especially now that I have this, I can wipe out the Atlantean. There we go. You're the last threat. Da da da. And even despite filters and the new everything, still catch the controller on the dang mic. It's really annoying. I mean, it's just so loud that even if I put on the noise gate filters and all that, it still gets caught. Dang it. I mean, I have more than enough revives to just power through this, but still. Now, let's just random always at this point to save some time. Still, two runs, not bad. There's been far worse troubles in the past, so all good, all good. Yeah, three revives, nothings. Especially because the bat wave is so much less threatening. Yeah, I can just circle. Yeah, there's definitely some with pierce, like different enemies have different pierce values or something. I do not believe I have that little pierce. Or maybe there's just that many bats, huh? Yeah, I'm not getting that many kills, huh? Wait, I'm not seeing... Huh. Awkward. I wasn't seeing Heart of Fire. What was going on with that? I see 3.1 million. That's pretty terrible. All things considered. So yeah, long gun by itself, and not so great. Probably, I mean, I'd still say it's better than something like Carrelo, even Santa Javelin too. Santa Javelin has a lot, but long gun. Okay. Still, Bills himself, a uh, pretty decent bonus with that projectile speed and might. So that's a good way to keep him powered up. Six golden eggs. Anyway, next up's going to be Lance Bean. Projectile speed into cooldown. Cooldown's going to be a lot more helpful, though shortgun is much worse. Well, we'll see how it goes next time. Okay, and it took a bit of difficulty, but old Bill has managed to take us up to 
a Starling 250 and 251. Not bad. Long gun is a better weapon than you'd think. Still not great, but hey, sometimes that's all you need. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate any support you've shown me and would kindly ask you to like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. Any builds you want me to see or something like that. Either way, I hope you have a good day. You'll keep following the Vampire Survivors Beswick. And most importantly, well, have a good day, but keep messing around.